opening this week, brought to you by our friends over at AMC Theaters. This week opening up, Ashley? It is Eddie the Eagle. Inspired by true events, Eddie the Eagle is a feel-good story about Michael Eddie Edwards, Taryn Egerton, an unlikely but courageous British ski jumper who never stopped believing in himself, even as an entire nation was counting him out. With the help of a rebellious and charismatic coach, played by Hugh Jackman, Eddie takes on the establishment and wins the hearts of sports fans around the world by making an improbable and historic showing at the 1988 Calgary Winter Olympics. You excited for this, guys? I saw it last night, um, and I really enjoyed it. I think it's a movie that one of the things that Mark and I just shot our review for Schmoes earlier today, and what I said in the review was that Look, you're going to get a lot of cliched, cliched moments in this movie. It's it's a bit fluffy. There's not you you can you know where the story is going, and not even just because it's a true story, but this just as far as the beats go. But it is a really feel good movie, and what stands out again is Taron Egerton, um, because look, Hugh Jackman is is good in the movie, but he's playing he, most of the characters that Hugh Jackman plays, and there is one scene where he's going down the, the ski lift, and and uh, the, the, he's he's, too, he's about to do his jump. And he's got a cigarette in his mouth, and this, and the, and he looks like Wolverine going down the chute. But he also, but it's all the CGI in that particular scene isn't the best. But Taron Egerton and what he pulls off, because I thought, oh wait a minute, am I going to get bored with him doing this this character and the shtick? But he just transforms into Eddie, and you you buy into it, and it's a, it's a nice story. It's a story of family, but it's a story of believing in yourself. It, it's a good movie to go check out. Are you guys looking forward to seeing it? You saw Eddie the Eagle last night. Yeah, what'd I you saw see? Gods of Egypt. Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> you should see Eddie the Eagle. Um, um, it's a movie that I have been looking forward to. Look, I'm a sucker for any sort of sports movies. I don't care what the sport you're playing is. It can emotionally hook me very, very easily. Seems like the case with this one. I like the actors involved, and I hear it's got a great soundtrack. And it's a sport I kind of like when I'm learning about a sport as I'm watching a movie. Like, I know pretty much everything there is to know about football and basketball and baseball, but ski jumping, I don't know the inner workings of it. I don't know right. how hard it is to get good at it. I don't know what the training. Apparently, the training involves standing on top of a van driven by Wolverine, like so that's Wolf. exciting. Yeah, <laughs> Wolverine Teen Wolf. It makes sense. So, yeah, I would totally like to see this movie. I'll probably check it out this weekend when I'm on the East Coast. I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. It does look like it has a lot of heart and a feel-good movie. I know when I see the trailers, I get all choked up, you know, <laughs> at his character, especially the part when his mom comes uh, in with the little box of uh, Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, oh. oh. Um, but, yeah, and then also Matthew Vaughn. You know, Matthew Vaughn, this is a movie that he hasn't really uh, – this type of movie done, done well, he's before. he's produced it. He didn't direct it. Oh, he produced yeah, it. You, okay. Yeah, yeah. Who, who directed it? Uh, I got to get you. John McTiernan. No, yes. that is not true. Yes. That is not true. And, no, yeah. And but, then Hans Gruber. But you, <laughs> but, but you do fill a Vaughn stamp on it, though, for sure. Um, because there, he's, you could tell his name. It's not just like where he's. Well, because in, in front of the last like short trailer I saw, they put his, they're like, from Matthew Vaughn. He and the reason why I don't think it's just to sell on the fact that Matthew Vaughn did it. I think that he was v very he this story meant a lot mm -hmm. to him. I, the director is De uh, Dexter Fletcher. And you could tell because Vaughn, I think Vaughn's wife, she's a producer as well too. Like this story meant a lot to them because of what the story is. There were so many loopholes to how this guy was able to even be in the Olympics because they, they didn't even have any British ski jumpers since like 1925 or something too. But he was able to kind of bypass the rules and they mm -hmm. because then the British government was like, wait a minute, this is the guy that's representing our company. Like, we got to change the rules. And he went out there and he said, okay, if you're going to change it from having to jump 30 feet to 62 feet, watch what I do. And and then he, you know, and so he continues to. Try to tell people who tell him what he can't do, he goes and does it. And it's, it is. It's, it's a story that it, it's something everybody should see. It really is one of those movies that you, if you have a soul, you'll enjoy it. When you mentioned uh, Hugh Jackman, <laughs> I thought of his character from Real Steel when I saw this trailer. It, it felt there was definitely some moments that reminded <laughs> me of Real Steel, absolutely, because he has that. His that's what I mean with Hugh Jackman. His character has pretty much the same arc <laughs> in, in that movie as where I haven't – granted, it's a young career for Taron Egerton, but he's done three different roles that I've seen him in, obviously with Kingsman and then the small role that he had in Legend and now this movie. So that's why I've been campaigning so hard for him as Han Solo.